While we're on the scoring page, it's important to also mention that scores aren't the only way to communicate with parents and students through PowerSchool. You also have options down below the scoring area to add a small comment. Now that box can be expanded by clicking on the speech bubble up here at the top. Notice how you have a limit of 4,000 characters in this comments box. And the newer feature to Power Teacher Pro will be the comment bank. Presently, I can't demonstrate this as we're using a test server to record this video right now. But as District 7 merges its data into Power Teacher Pro, you will be able to access dozens of preloaded comments that you can simply um, scroll through, click. You can even favorite those to appear up at the top of the comments list so that you can reuse certain ones uh, as you see fit. Just as an example, I'm going to paste a comment in here. Notice how there's a little speech bubble that appears up at the top right corner. That indicates that there is a comment in that field. That comment will also be previewed down here in the smaller comment box when I go back to the grade entry button. If you were looking closely at the screen, you would notice that that little comment bubble exists here in the assignment that we just created, but I've also added comments to all of the students' overall course grades. So as you select those fields, you can also add comments to the overall course grade, uh, which will appear with uh, report cards and progress reports.